Yeah. Well, where is the gun? Everybody else. Everybody else. Pull the gun out. I understand you. that. Bye, everybody else. I want everyone out of my store now. He has a gun. I don't give a fuck. Get out of my store. Everybody else. 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 Oh shit. We don't want to talk about this one. <laughs> There's so many different approaches here. Firstly, this is the most reasonable explanation. My guess this manager's probably seen a lot of fucking rowdy teens. She probably doesn't believe shit. She probably doesn't believe that there's a fucking dude with a gun outside. There's probably just a ton of fucking teens screaming and screeching inside of her store. And she's probably just like, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'm sure he's got tons of guns. Get the fuck out of my fucking restaurant. That's going to be my guess for as to what probably happened here. That's my guess. She probably does Because if she actually thought there was a guy outside with a gun, she'd probably be like hiding behind the counter, calling like fucking 911 or some shit. That would be my guess. My second thing is that if there was some guy with a gun outside, I'm not giving shelter to fucking people in my restaurant. What the fuck? Actually, <clears throat> no. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I, I actually think it just makes a sense. I don't think she thinks that the guy really has a gun because I think she'd be calling the cops ASAP. That'd be my guess. I think that, um, I don't think she thinks he actually has a gun. Oh, man. Fuck. Does my service background make me too triggered here? It cracks me up when low-level employees say things like my store. No, it is the store in which you work. It isn't your store. You make eight fifty an hour. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> it's not your house. It's just the house in which you make payments on. Technically, the bank owns the house. They've got the title. Like, you just make the payments on it. Like, um, she's probably a manager. And... Most private companies reserve the right so to kick you, you out. do you think she thinks he actually has a gun? I don't think she thinks there's actually a gun outside. I don't see most normal people standing in a lobby just shouting at kids if they think someone is outside with a gun about to kill people. I could be wrong, but I think, I feel like my assumption is far more reasonable than your assumption. So, like, here are two assumptions. Here are two worlds. In one world... <clears throat> you've got a store manager that has a bunch of rowdy kids in the store that are all saying, oh, the guy outside has a gun, okay, who thinks that they're just rowdy kids and she just wants to get them out. And that's that. Or in the other world, there is a lady who genuinely thinks there's a man standing outside of her store with a gun who's about to kill people who's throwing kids out to that guy to get killed. Like, the, I think the former is way more reasonable than the latter. It's both are possible. I can't truly know. But I would be way more inclined to make the first assumption than like the second assumption that like she actually thinks there's a guy outside about to kill people and she's just throwing these kids out there to get killed. Like... <coughs> Watch part two. Okay, where's part two? This will uncover the mystery. Here we go. No, he said that if he pulled out a gun, he pulled out for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> so well, why? Well, you said that. I'm not. I didn't blame you. I, you, I never say. I never say. I never say I'm blaming. I say he pulled out a gun for a reason. I didn't say why. Okay. No, wait. Listen. Listen. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. This guy sounds fucking stupid as fuck. I have no clue what the fuck this guy's trying to say. <clears throat> is this a thing, though? Rowdy kids just making shit up like there's a guy outside with a gun, Destiny? Hell yes, it's a thing. Kids make up all sorts of stupid shit when you're in a fucking restaurant and you're being rowdy and loud as fuck with your fucking friends. Hell yeah, I would never believe a fucking teenager about some dumb shit in my restaurant. Even when me and Aaron and Nathan sometimes go to hy to eat, there's a fucking cop that comes in sometimes because there are kids that are making shit up or doing dumb shit inside there. Hell yeah, teens make up, teens make up dumb shit all the fucking time. <clears throat> Okay, I think I'm going to push back here. I am going to push back. This is by far your worst take. Honestly, your levels of cynicism or bias or SJW-ness have gotten 
way too fucking high. If you look at a video like that and your first thought is that white woman is intentionally sending black children out into the street to get executed by a man with a gun and she knows that's going to happen. If that is your go-to thought, maybe you do spend a little bit too much time on Reddit or in SJW communities or on my subreddit. Like, I think that you have a problem with your thought process there. I think it is way more reasonable. Now, is it possible that she is being an asshole or being rude or whatever? Sure. Thanks for the straw man. Wait, so what's the alternative? I don't think anyone thinks that. Wait, if you don't think they think that, then what's the problem? She's got a bunch of kids that are being loud as fuck in a restaurant. She's just telling them to get the fuck out. Nothing to do with race or gender, by the way. Destiny is the one who brought that up. Wait, when did I say anything about race or gender? Right? Wait, did I just say race or gender? She would believe them if they were white? Do we know that? Oh, maybe I said black kids because you guys were saying she was racist. I swear to... I'm pretty sure someone in here think, said that she was racist. I don't think I brought up gender. Oh, Andy said white trash earlier too. I know at least he said that phrase. Destiny, or she's racist. She's not racist. She doesn't believe a single word the blacks say angel thump. Destiny, lol, why can you not see that tons of white people are just massive racists? This is today, right? I think this is today. She's a racist. Racist boomer. Your point is good, but there is more to the story here. Police reports indicate that he did have a firearm. That doesn't change anything that I just said. Oh, Andy was talking about the gun care girl from Kent State. Gotcha. If there wasn't a commotion and someone went up to her and said, excuse me, there's a man with a gun outside, she would have reacted differently. It was the heat of the moment that she found the info out while she was kicking them out. Yeah, that sounds like way more likely to me. Is this like when Dave Chappelle found out when he's like, he was like, uh, I'm 60% comedian and 40% black when Kramer did his thing? Like, maybe I just empathize too much with, with like a service worker. <clears throat> That's kind of a dishonest point taking, right? Control effing racist is going to give you a bias for... Okay, I'm sorry. My bad for striving you. Then what's the problem? What did she do wrong? Go, go, go. Get me in chat. What did she do wrong? What do you think she did? The title says racist. You're probably right. You're probably not right, but you still don't throw people out into a possible active shooter situation. So, like, if you've got a bunch of kids being fucking rowdy in, in your restaurant, you're like, get the fuck out. And like, we can't go outside. There's a guy with a gun out there. Like, Destin, you have fucking PTSD from being a service worker because you had some retarded ass opinions when it comes to shit that happens to businesses. Or maybe you guys have fucking no experience working normal jobs. You don't see how fucking lazy and worthless either an average worker can be or a fucking average or an average fucking customer could be. Fucking half of these customers are degenerate fucks that need to get a fucking point, fucking fucking attitude adjustment anyway. Okay? Like when I like you guys have some of the there are takes that I give that people view as being like that people view as being dumb that are so obviously correct to me like the guy on the plane you guys had the worst take ever for the like destiny that guy in the plane had patience that he had to save tomorrow then why is he riding fucking coach what kind of a dumb fucking guy why is he fucking riding coach in an airplane if he's got patients that are gonna die tomorrow firstly like secondly like destiny he had to fight the cops to get off the plane so that he could say what, 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 in what world or the guy or the guy with the um or the, the guy that came in early and opened the fucking building for the fucking firefighters. Like, Destiny, he's just opening the building for the firefighters. That's not his fucking job. Like, this shit is, like, so obviously, like, right or wrong. Like, if you had any experience, like, owning buildings or giving keys to employees to open our like building, like, you don't just, oh, my God. Like, you guys have takes that were so obviously fucking bad. And I don't even know how so many of you stand on the wrong side of these things. Holy shit. What? What do you want? All right, so I think that if they're claiming that he's a gun, you should automatically assume that they're telling the truth. And if anything, like bring him in the back, call the police, and wait for the cops to get there to deal with it. What's the issue with that? One. So if okay, Nathan well, 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 oh, so yeah, that isn't like what we're technically talking about here, right? What we're talking about is whether or not she actually, because it sounded like what people were initially claiming was that she threw them out knowing that there was a shooter out there. That was like, it sounded like that was the first claim. But I let's assume really that's not, let's assume that's not the first claim. Let's assume that she should have double checked. Like, 
I don't know if it would make sense. First of all, she doesn't necessarily have the responsibility to, but, we're, but we'll talk about morality, right? If if I had a bunch of rowdy kids and I was about to throw them out and all of them were like, oh no, there's a guy, or like somebody's like, oh, there's a guy with a gun outside. I don't know, but it's necessarily the responsibility of the supervisor to sit there and like say like, well, I'm going to call the cops. Like every single one of those kids probably has a cell phone. No? Like couldn't any of them call the cops? Sure, but the lady's still trying to throw them out, right? When, okay, but if the guy like, has the gun, can he just come cops? in? Sure. Like, <clears throat> sure, he could come in, but why would you want to send people out there? Because they're like, being loud and they're disrupting all, service in the okay, restaurant. If Nathan's preschool is in the restaurant and the teachers can't control them and they're being loud and there's a guy outside with a fucking gun. Do you want them to just throw your kid out there and be like, well, sorry, your kid was being loud, homie. Okay, so we're going to say that teenagers are the equivalent okay. here to a preschool class visiting a McDonald's? No, that's not. Okay, I'm saying it in the way like that you would kick him out with a guy outside with a gun. Basically, but the I big issue is you just don't kick they're... people out. Okay, if you she knows it or not, it's a claim. The There's a claim. This is fucking America. Every other person has a gun. You should obviously believe them. There's school shootings every other fucking day. What's so hard to believe that a guy wants to kill some people over some fucking McDonald's? I just don't see how keeping them in the restaurant or sending them outside is going to make a big difference. Is there, if there's okay, really so a dude your, out there so with a that's gun. That's your argument. So your argument really is that there's no difference and either way they're fucked if there's a guy with a gun. That's Con, well, argument. my argument is that the lady in the store probably doesn't actually believe them at all and she just wants to kick loud people out of the restaurant. And she doesn't think sure. she's actually sending them out. And my into, argument like, is that she death. should believe them no matter what if somebody's claiming there's a gun. Oh, wait, this is some hashtag gun, me too shit. Is that what we're doing no, right now, No, because if there Hurden? isn't a gun, then they call the police and the police handle it. That's a super easy thing. Okay, but then in the meantime, they are wasting, they're tying up their manager's time. They've got a bunch of kids oh, in the fucking store. Oh, they... Some people's time are getting tied up over lives. Oh, great, Steve. <laughs> I mean, if my restaurant is getting slammed and I've got a bunch of loud fucking sure, kids that's and my fine. fucking. No, 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 it's not fine. Like, you're like. Uh, I, I mean, I understand your I, point I mean, of view. I, I understand I, your I point mean, of view. No, 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 no. I understand it your sucks. point of view, okay? But as somebody that might be a manager at that store, making like fucking $14 an hour, yeah, I've got a bunch of annoying. dumb fuck kids, I'm gonna get fucking shit on by my manager, everybody in the fucking store is gonna be worse off for it because all of my employees are gonna be stressed because the person running window, who's usually the manager, is not gonna be there because I gotta sit and deal with some annoying fucking kids who want me to call the fucking cops because they're saying some fucking retard outside is a fucking gun? No, that's not just like a boohoo situation. That's like a ruin no, your whole fucking night because you got some loud, dumb fuck teens yeah. in your restaurant that don't want to fucking leave. Like, that's what it would sure. feel like to me as a, as a manager really in that situation sucks and it like has like a dick in you. it like really fucking sucks because i agree with you i work fucking at fast food and there's nothing worse than a fucking employee and there's nothing worse than high schoolers who come to your fucking restaurant but i would draw the line if somebody is claiming hey there's a gun that like my night being ruined and my manager being ass mad at me is probably it's probably better to go that route than like throw people outside and like have somebody get shot. Like, I just don't understand. I don't understand this dichotomy of like if we keep them inside, they'll be safe from the gun. But if we send them outside, they'll die to the gun. Um, I mean, I would say people are safer in numbers than just like throwing them outside, right? Like, so if there I mean, is they a guy still outside, have their numbers going outside, or is it the extra like three or four McDonald's staff? I is don't what know. Keeps I mean, you safe. have stuff to hide behind and stuff like that. I don't know. Being inside is usually <laughs> generally sought as as a safer, a safe, a safer place. There's a reason you don't just throw your, like, yell when there's a, like, shooter in a school. Just, like, say, everybody, all right, fucking flee. They usually tell you to, like, hide in the classrooms, like, take cover or whatever, right? I guess, but I don't think that's necessarily the same thing here when a guy is literally, like, right outside, supposedly, with a gun about to come in and execute people. Sure, I don't think that there, I don't know if there was ever a claim that he was, like, going to come in and execute people. It looked from the video that he, like, was kind of, like, leaving, and then he, like, pulled the gun out. So, the, like... The best way to defuse the situation is not to follow the guy with the gun, right? You don't want to like follow him. Okay. I I, I mean I. Then think why couldn't I they just go out the opposite door? <laughs> Was there another door? <laughs> Every fast food restaurant. It's probably like fire code. Yeah, I'm sure there was another exit. Sure, there might be another door, but I still think the best course of action is like to just chill, call the police, and like see what happens. Um, but no, I mean I I agree with you. Like it fucking sucks and it ruins the manager's night. If um people kept doing it over and over, like people kept coming in, like that'd be a fucking big issue. But I think that you should take every, like, thing with, like, a gun, especially in the United States. Like, seriously, if this was Britbong land where there's, like, four guns in the whole nation, like, sure, we could talk about it. But because it's the United States and every fifth person has a fucking, like, rifle attached to their back, like, yeah, you should probably take it seriously. Okay. All right, I All understand right. your point. Build your computer. Okay. Yeah. Wait, am I right? No. <laughs> All right. I understand your yeah, point. Yeah, you understand it. We won't agree. That's okay. fine. Okay. Right. Here's the reality that I'm going to give you guys, Okay. If you are a customer, I fucking hate you. And if there is a guy outside, I hope he has a fucking gun. So that when you're sitting there shitting up my fucking restaurant, 
I hope you go outside and you run into the guy that you think is out there, okay? Because you know what? Fuck all of you, all right? Fuck, fuck every customer that walks in, makes some goddamn fucking noise, and then won't get the fuck out of my goddamn restaurant, okay? Get him the fuck out. Get him. Get him out of my goddamn restaurant. <clears throat> Their mood didn't fit the situation. They were laughing and not caring. Were they? I'm just imagining now, every single time teenagers are going to get thrown out of a restaurant, they could just be like, well, wait, hold on. We can't, we, we can't go outside. There's a guy with a gun out there. Can we stay inside and call the cops? <laughs> like, I, or, I mean, like, I mean, I guess you could. I hope you beg the manager for your life one day, even though you're being rowdy and the manager pulls a gun on you to get back outside. When I go into restaurants... I'm not rowdy. Do you know why? Because I'm not a piece of shit customer. I am quiet and I am polite when I'm inside. And if there was a gunman outside and I told the manager, the manager would believe me because I'm quiet and polite and also because I'm white, okay? So that would never happen to me. I can't even conceive of your hypothetical. <clears throat> this chat is being pretty... You know what? Maybe you guys need to go outside. Hey, Get out of my chat. Go outside to Twitch chat. Get out of here. Go outside to Twitch chat. Twitch chat, you guys know what you need to do. Get them out, Twitch chat. Get them out. You're gonna about you're about to have a whole bunch of DGGers coming in here. Pull them out, Twitch chat. Get out of my DGG chat. Go outside. If you're one of the people that are getting kicked out of my chat right now and you wish you weren't getting kicked out, perhaps you should consider Twitch Prime subbing to me. If you have an Amazon Prime account and it's linked to your Twitch account, Go ahead and throw out that subscription. But remember, if you're subscribing to me, I'm not your friendly neighborhood progressive. I hate customers, and I don't really like anybody, okay? And I actually don't even like employees either. I actually hate all of them, because I've spent enough time working with all of them to know how much I hate all of them. Employees are lazy, they don't do shit, they constantly make fucking excuses, they stay clocked in and they chat with each other at the end of the fucking day to milk out the last few fucking 30 minutes they can on my goddamn clock. I hate customers because fucking, it's, that's self-evident. That's a priori knowledge. Customers are just the, the worst, the most degenerate filth of the fucking earth. They're over-entitled, massive children that work 40 hours a week and think they have a right to be because they work. They're the worst types of people. And... I don't even know. I fucking hate probably you too. If I got to know you well enough, I would find enough about you to, to hate because you're probably either an employee or a customer. You know who I actually, the only people I do like are neats because they don't work. So I never had to deal with them. And they're not customers because they get mom and dad to go out and buy everything. So neats are actually the best type of people there are. Thank you. If you're a neat out there and you're watching and you're throwing me your neat bucks, you're appreciated. Thank you very much. Everybody else, get outside. All right, let's see how many new posts. I'm going to have to delete on my subreddit tonight. I'm going to be deleting them too. If you're making the post right now, it is getting deleted. I just hope you know that. As soon as I as soon as soon I see it going up, it's getting removed ASAP. I will be checking my subreddit all night tonight. I know some dumb fucking here is writing up. I know he's writing up the whole fucking post right now. What does it look like? Gassy is so fucking wrong in this fucking debate. <clears throat> It's obvious that Destiny's ego and past as a food service worker is clouding his judgment here. And it's hilarious to see how blind he is to his own bias, especially one day after we listened to a podcast about cognitive dissonance. Maybe he should take his own advice every once in a while and actually try and separate out his emotional state from the actual arguments he'd make. Maybe he'd realize how fucking ridiculous he was being. Just imagine if one time you did this, a bunch of kids got fucking shot. How would you like it if Nathan was kicked out of a restaurant and then shot? Steven continually engages in this ridiculously stupid rhetoric Probably because he still identifies identifies as an edgy, sociopathic, egoist, <coughs> LOL, 
because he's too lazy to read all the philosophy books, or more like any, ever. <laughs> Let's be real, LOL. So he's too dishonest to actually realize, or to actually admit his arguments are dumb. The worst is when he gets cornered into a position and then weasels his way out of it by constantly either strawmanning chat or trying to avoid the issue with you made shitty a bad jokes. Argument. It's okay. We still love you, buddy. I hope Destiny changes his ways or else I'm going to be spending a lot more time in Hassan's stream. At least he's pro socialism. There. Destiny, your post needs more typos to be accurate. Is that okay? There you go. Now you can all upvote this one. This is pretty. This is about as much as you guys would probably want to say. There you go. Now you guys can up, or not that I'm telling you to upvote it, but okay. There you go. <clears throat> why am I marked as a Jordan Peterson user? <laughs> Wait, why? What happened? Oh, hold on. I always have to throw in this. Edit. Since I know Destiny's probably going to view this post tomorrow and then read it in his stereotypical condescending voice, condescending nerd voice, since that's the only way he can address people, people's points, even if they are legitimate, here is some actual stuff for you to to grapple with. Maybe for once in your lazy fucking life, you'll actually responsibly grapple with some material and consider it instead of just irresponsibly using your platform to push these horrible ideas onto I your don't audience. I like anybody except for MR. Oh, you love us, Steve. Let's see, MR 60 Mouton, minute video, Dallas 59 me. minute video, 7, 50 minute video, 2 hour video, okay. Divine Truth. Name of this presentation is Ethics and Morality. It is part of the Human Soul series. It was presented. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there. Can I just can I just write my own anti posts? I know what you're gonna say. There. Is that okay? Are we okay now? <laughs> there. Wait, what just happened? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'll approve your comment, sir. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Can I build... <laughs> Can I go build my computer now? Desi, it's not often that kids make up shit about a man having... <laughs> I stopped. I stopped reading right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that was a really funny good meme. That was a good meme to open it up, but it was so funny that there's no way the rest of your post could live up to the hilariousness of that intro. There's no way kids would make up some dumb shit. You can't open with your strongest joke. You got to end with the strongest joke, okay? Back. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and get my computer parts on a red ball <laughs> and we're gonna put this behind us. Okay guys, take a deep breath. Oh, my title is building, building, building. I don't have to change it technically, These huh? nuts.